All right, we are here with a legend. Needs no introduction, you know, we will call Mr. Elder Barge. How are you feeling, sir? Oh, man, I'm devastated. You know, I'm kind of like, I don't know how to feel right now. Whitney, she went on, she passed away. I uh, love you, Whitney. Miss you already. Um, at the same time, I feel joy for being nominated tonight uh, for Grammy. And uh, I want to thank God. I want to thank my fans. Thank Ron Fair, Jimmy Iveen, Pete Farmer, Interscope. And once again, I thank my fans. And once again, I thank my fans. And once again, I thank God. And I love you, Mom. I love you, Mama G. No doubt, man. You know, I can't help but, but, but feel the, the, the heaviness on your heart right now. Because I, I, I do know that Whitney definitely meant a lot to you personally. Yeah. So, like, what, is, what does she mean to you? What did Whitney Houston mean, not just to the industry, but to Elder Barge personally? Whitney, to me, was such a real person. She kept it real. She was always straight up. She didn't fake, as they call it, fake the funk. Yeah. She didn't fake the funk. She was just straight up. And every time I had a chance to talk to her, it was always real. And she just told me a couple of nights ago when we were just embracing each other, we were out together, and she was like, L, I need you to sing with me. I'm doing an album. And I said, you got it. And before I had a chance to call her, wow, she had gone. Yeah, man. It's, it was less than 24 hours ago that we found out the news that she's no longer with us, you know. And it is, it is a travesty. So for you to be here today, obviously you want to celebrate her life. So what are some of the things that you would like her fans to, to most importantly remember her by? Well, I know, and I'm going to speak for Whitney and myself. You gave good love to us, never too much, we're never so good. Take this heart of mine into your hands, you gave good love. Thank you. 